Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for December the 10th through the 20th. Your rune this week is the Laguz rune, the rune of healing, especially through water. We have a lapis lazuli, spiritual growth, clears the mind, openness and honesty connects with higher ideas and thoughts, and connects with the angelic realm. Then we have carnelian, warm and joyous, opens the heart full of life force, success, and protects from personal attacks. Agate stability, grounding, supportive, helps with focus and is known as the strength to carry on stone. Okay, your stone people card is eagle medicine. Looking at the big picture, taking everything into account. Your spirit animal is the mouse, which tells you to tend to the small things, the things around your house, the things in your personal life. The small things are important too. Sign and symbol card is the cactus flower, unfiltered beauty. Realizing that everything around you and everything in nature is beautiful in its own way. For agreements card, be immune to others' opinions. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. Okay, let's see what our cards have to say. We have, oh, we got our favorite card, the stone people card. So your stones are very important this week. Paying attention to what they say and the, their abilities. We have the Druid, hold the space. That means that you are on the right path. Keep on keeping on. Okay, Sister Moon says, adjustments are required though. So you are on the right path, but there are some things that you could do and only you know that, that could make it easier. Let's see if the cards have anything to say. Spirit has your back. Don't feel like you are alone or you are doing this um, by yourself. Spirit has your back for your plan. The North Shield, don't forget wisdom and especially gratitude. Having gratitude for what you already have. We have Autumn, release the old, release the past. Maybe that is holding you back a little. Sister Moon says to believe in the impossible. Believe in the I'm possible. And Rhino Spirit says that you can overcome any obstacle. You have the power, the strength, and the knowledge to overcome anything in your path. Oh, the Great Smoking Mirror talks about reflections and how you see yourself. Are you holding yourself up or tearing yourself down on the inside? 
about how you feel about yourself and what you can accomplish. Maybe that is holding you back a little. We have the Shaolin Master. Be graceful in movement and action. This card is a little bit of a warning not to overdo it this week. You could um, have an injury or become ill. So, oh, and look, we got the hold your vision card. And that goes, that's really just about the same as the hold the space card. It means you really are on the right path. You just have to figure out what it is that is holding you back and adjust accordingly. And the cards have told us here that part of what is holding you back is um, the belief in yourself, something about the past, and something about how you view yourself. Oh, and the last card reminds you, sign, sandpaper, sandpiper spirit, be playful. Don't take everything so seriously. You still have to have some fun. Okay, so we're going to place our runes and our stone. We have the rune of healing, especially through water. Let's see where, let's put that one on Sandpiper Spirit. Because being playful and laughing and that's so healing. Then we have our Lapis Lazuli. This one really is about inside your spiritual growth and believing in yourself. I'm going to put that on Believe in the Impossible. Then we have our carnelian, which is so warm and joyous. Oh, and it brings success. Let's put that one. Let's put that one on um, hold your vision. Put that life force into your vision. Then we have our agate, which is the strength to carry on stone. We're going to put that one on rhino spirit. You can overcome any obstacle. Okay, and then we have some uh, new quotes about winter. Um. <clears throat> The light of winter is the poetry of patience. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.